Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe Lightroom color grading tutorial. In this video, we will turn this shot into this one. That means we will try to apply a cold blue orange color theme on this shot. If you want to follow along, you will find the raw files in the description of the video. And now without much more talking, let's go. So here we are in Lightroom. First off, the basic stuff. I do want to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Landscape for just a little more base saturation. Then I'm going to change the white balance and I think I'm just going with the auto setting, which as you can see gives us way more natural color tones. Then let's work on the exposure. Looking at the histogram, you can see it does look pretty good with no underexposure and no overexposure. This means we can raise the highlights just to stretch the histogram some more and introduce some more contrast to this image. I do also, however, want to increase the shadows just to have some more details in the darkest areas. Well, that's a bit too much. Let's tone it down a notch. That looks about right. Also, I'm going to boost the whites. Just like that, right on the edge of overexposure. And then let's drop the blacks very slightly. All right, let's compare to before real quick. You can see the colors look much, much better. It seems we do have a little bit less contrast, but a bit more brightness. So that's okay, because I want to introduce contrast with the next step. So first off, I'm going to introduce some texture just for a sharper looking shot. Also, I'm going to bring up the clarity. Let's bring it up quite a bit. And then let's add dehaze, which will help with the contrast. I'm just very, very careful with those sliders because they can change the image quite fast. Also, I'm going to introduce some vibrance before I'm heading into the masking stuff. All right, now the masking. For this shot, that's very, very important since I'm targeting specific areas like the sky and just make them a lot darker for the contrast. So let's just begin by placing a linear gradient slightly tilted over the sky like this. And I'm going to drop the exposure. Let's drop it like that. And I'm also introducing contrast, which should help adding more details to the clouds. Also, I'm going to bring up the clarity all the way. And this always works great for clouds like that. You can see the shot looks immediately much better. Let's continue by using another linear gradient just for the sky. Uh, I think I'm applying one just like that. And here I want to bring down the temperature just a little bit to get some more blue in here. And again, I'm using contrast. This will make the top part darker, but also add some details to the clouds. And again, I'm just bringing up the clarity just like that. Looks pretty good to me. Then on the horizon level, I do want to add some kind of glow effect. Therefore, as always, I'm going to with the radial gradient, just create a small one like this, place it somewhere on the horizon. And in here, I'm first going to drop the highlights since I want to have some visible detail in here. That is looking pretty good. Then I'm bringing up the blacks, of course, to add the glow effect. Let's bring them up all the way. And I can make this glow stronger by dropping the dehaze. This will also brighten up the area, so just be careful with overexposure. But I really like what this is doing to this area. All right, looking good so far. And finally, I do want to work on the foreground. Therefore, I'm using a brush and I'm making sure to check the auto mask box right there so I can safely brush over this area. Okay, now I'm turning it off just to be safe and I'm going to brush over the area once more without getting too close to the edges. So we have a nice little mask right here. And in here, let's bring up the contrast. I also want to bring up the highlights, drop the shadows, increase the whites, and then add some clarity, just like that. Perfect. 
Now the foreground looks super interesting as well as the rest of the image. I think we can take a quick look at the before and after comparison, looking much, much better, especially the sky part. So with that being done, I think we can continue doing some local adjustments. So let's head into the HSL panel. First off, the hue. Right now, if you're looking in the sky, I'm not sure if you can see it due to the YouTube compression, but there is some kind of purple color cast. I do want to fix it by just bringing down the purple hue. And thus we are getting more blue tones in the sky. I can further push this by slightly dropping the blue hue. Only a little bit. I don't want the sky to look Zion, but that looks good. For the saturation part, I'm going to drop the orange saturation slightly and instead boost the blue tones. That's a bit too much. That's looking better. Finally, in the luminance tab, I do want to brighten up this part. And since this mostly consists of orange color tones, I can bring up the orange luminance to brighten it up. Just like that. And we could further brighten up the blue luminance. Let's see, just a little bit to get some more brightness in the shot. Perfect. Now let's try applying some split toning. I want to start with the highlights. And I'm really not sure on this shot, but I want to give a warm color tone for the highlights a try. So somewhere in that range, let's slightly bump up the saturation without overdoing it, but that looks okay. Let's head over to the midtones. Again, going with the warmer color tone and bringing up the saturation. Looks good to me. For the shadows, I'm using a cold color tone. And let's use a very low amount of saturation again. So before and after the split toning, I think it looks better with the split toning. So that's good. Finally, in the calibration tab, I do want to bring down the blue primary hue and I want to boost the saturation here, just like that. Okay, that looks really good. One final thing to do in Lightroom is to sharpen this image. So let's bring down the radius, increase the detail, add some masking so only certain parts will get sharpened and then push the sharpening itself. Perfect. So at this point, we have done all the Lightroom adjustments. I'm pretty happy with this image. There are a few things to clean up, which I will be doing in Photoshop. So let's switch over. Okay, first off, those fishing things in the ocean need to be removed. I think I just can use the spot healing brush and paint over them. Just like that. Then next up, there are a few other things in the ocean, which I don't like. And of course we are looking for sensor spots. All right, perfect. So at this point, there's really not much left to do. I could, however, take a look at the Nick Collection plugin, which can also be done in Lightroom, by the way. Here I want to give the polarization effect a try. Just bring up the strength and see what's happening. It does look more interesting to me. So I guess I'm just applying a low amount here just to push the color some more. And now let's apply it like that. Okay, that looks great. Now that's it for editing this image. I hope the color grading aspect and the editing itself were helpful. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.